melting down and tuning into your breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Listening to your breath. Move up and down the body, feeling the belly rise and fall. You find some ease in this position, feeling supported by your mat, by the earth beneath. And as we go through the practice, we find this balance between effort and ease. And these resting poses just allow us to really soften down, accept the support, and prepare for the next little bit of effort as we move through the transitions. Perhaps massaging the forehead left to right. And then slowly inhale the forehead so you can just skate your camera and come up onto your fingertips and then walk your fingertips over to the right side of your mat and then allow your forehead to come settle back between your forearms. This time we're lengthening the arms. So the whole arm, the forearm, the palm is lifted and we're just on the fingertips. Nice, until we can feel that stretch in the whole left side body. And then we allow the forehead to settle back down on the earth. Taking a few breaths here. And then on your next inhale, walk your fingertips back to center, little baby steps with the fingertips and then walk them over to the left side of your mat, kind of coming off the mat. We don't have a mat, just over to the left-hand side. And then place the forehead back down, but keep the fingertips activated so the arms are long, length in the whole right side body. And then we breathe, three breaths. Next inhale takes you back to center. Nice. Soften the palms down, soften the forearms down. We take three more breaths in child's pose. We need to get the toes. <laughs> And then inhale to peel you up to an all fours position. Nice. From here, we're going to have your shoulders over your wrists. Spread the fingertips wide. Have your hips on top of your knees and have your feet hip distance apart. Nice. So we're grounding through both hands, the knees, the tops of the feet. And we're going to press into the feet. We're going to lift the knees. So press down on the tops of the feet. And we're activating the core, the belly. So we're drawing the belly in and up to the spine. Next, stay here for a few breaths. Gaze us down the tip of your nose. So lengthen the neck. Two more breaths. And then release the knees down. Really nice. So we're just firing up the belly to start. Let's try one more time like that. Press down with the hands. Lift your knees just about two inches off the mat. Drawing the belly in and up. Tailbone is tucked. Two more breaths. And then release down. Nice. Shake the hips side to side just a little bit. And then we're going to sort of move into a slightly different position. So taking the, the left leg off the mat. 
at a 90 degree angle. And we're gonna come straighten the right leg down and long. Nice, coming on the inside edge of the right foot. From here, take the left fingertips down on the mat. And we're gonna encourage us to swivel open. So taking your right hand underneath your left rib cage and just opening up your front body and then lengthening the right hand up to your ceiling. Great, gaze towards the right fingertips. And breathe. So my crown of the head is still reaching towards the front of the mat. So we're not sort of like tucking the chin or allowing the head to be floppy. We're engaging by lifting the crown of the head. Nice, drawing the belly in and up, feeling this energetic lift up through the right fingertips. Nice, from the core, inhale, we're gonna come up. So our arms are parallel, straighten the arms so we equal. Nice, from here, exhale, take the right hand down the right leg and lift the left arm skywards. Nice, option to stay on the inside edge of the right foot or come to the heel, so the toes are pointed skywards. And then every exhale, we fold a little bit more and we feel the stretch on the left side body. And again, my head is not flopping down. It's not sort of tucked in. It's lengthening. The crown of the head is being pulled with this energetic lift. Two more breaths here. Inhale to rise. Exhale. Come back to that wall force position. Nice. Lift the feet off the mat and shake them side to side. And then staying here, but I'm just going to turn around so you can see. Let's do the left side. Again, let's activate the core, but this time, let's tuck the toes, spread the fingertips wide, and then we lift the knees just two inches off the mat. Drawing the belly in and up, so creating strength and stability from the core today. Press down with the hands, two more breaths here. Exhale, release. Nice. Take a little pause here. And then we take the right foot behind us, 90 degrees. Take the left leg out long, come on the inside edge of the left foot. Come onto the fingertips of the right hand. Use the left hand and allow your ribcage to turn skywards before we lift the left hand high. Gaze up towards the left fingertips at the same time as my crown of the head is whoop, moving towards the front of the mat. Two more breaths here. Last breath. From the core, inhale, lift. Arms parallel. Option to keep the foot on the inside edge or come up onto the hill. Nice, maybe slide the foot away from your little bit and then exhale, fold. Right arm lifts skywards, nice. Face up towards the right elbow, the right forearm. Two more breaths. Inhale, reach skywards, and then we walk back into that all fours position. Nice. Again, lift the feet, move the legs side to side. And then we'll meet back into all fours position. Spread the fingertips wide. Now we plug down with the left hand, reach the right arm in space, and then exhale, we tuck that right arm through, but we don't um, land just yet. We inhale, lift, and we flow like this a few times. We exhale, tuck, bending into the left elbow. Two more times, inhale, lift, exhale, tuck. 
Inhale, lift, draw that belly in and up as we move. Last time, lift up in space. Exhale, this time, the right ear lands on the mat. Nice, so we're twisting from the waist, from the belly, and the left arm moves forward. And walk the left fingertips away from you as much as you can. And then we soften, we close our eyelids. We feel the twist in the outside of the right shoulder. And then when you're ready, start to come up onto the fingertips of the left hand. Walk the left hand back and then plug the left palm underneath the left shoulder to press you up. Reach one more time with the right fingertips. And then we land the right hand back to that all fours position. Tune back to your breath. Settle for a few breaths here. Plug down evenly with both hands and then transfer the weight into the right hand, left arm lifts. Exhale to tuck, don't land. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Three more. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale, rest. Last one. Exhale to tuck. Left ear lands on your mat. Right fingertips walk forward out in front. And breathe. So have this sensation of sit bones reaching back in space as you feel length along the whole back body. And the right fingertips are walking out in front of you as much as they can. When you're ready, start to walk the right fingertips back. Press your palm underneath your right shoulder. Lift the left arm skywards. Next, feel space in the front body. Release back down. Let's take our sit bones back. Child's pose. Two breaths in. Inhale, lift the forehead off the mat. Next, come back to your all fours position. Let's fire up that belly one last time. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Lift the kneecaps off the mat. Two inches. Nice. Let's do this together. Three breaths. Engaging the belly. And your next exhale, release the knees down. Take a pause here. And then we're going to tuck the toes. Spread the fingertips wide, index finger facing forward. Draw the belly in and up, just slightly around the back. And then we're going to drop the head in space. Here's the cat. Inhale, lifts. Drop the belly, lift the tailbone. Head comes through. Exhale, round. Swing a little. <laughs> Inhale, lifts. Exhale, round. Three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Draw the belly in and up first. Tuck the tailbone. Head comes high and steady. Inhale to lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, come back to neutral. And then draw your belly in and up so you slightly round the back and the tailbone is tucked. Nice. And let's do a whole like big figure of eight together in space. So as if we're tracing a letter H with our hip bones. So I kind of start in the middle and go backwards first and around. And then as we come forward, we draw the top of the eight. So we're just moving into the spine, into the hips. Bringing mobility, movement into areas that might feel a bit trapped and tight after a long night's sleep or just a lot of sitting down. And this can be really hard. Let's try it the other way. Hmm. 
Just find some movement that feels good with the hips. And then we'll meet back in neutral. <laughs> the cat's having a right old play. Tucking the toes, spreading the fingertips, preparing for our downward facing dog. So lifting the knees off the mat, generously bend the knees. Have the feet hit distance apart. And then let's breathe here for five breaths. As we plug down with the hands, we have a micro bend in the elbows, releasing the shoulders and the ears and allowing the head to hang heavy. Let's breathe together, inhale through the nose. Let's let it go through the mouth. Let's do two more of these. Inhale through the nose. Last breath, inhale through the nose. Let it go. start to walk the feet to meet the hands. Little baby steps all the way to meet the hands. And then we generously bend our knees so the torso sits on our thighs. Good. Exhale, release the head in space. Take opposite elbows with both hands. And then let's rock side to side. Exhale, release the hands, back to the hands, come down on your mat. And then as we inhale, we roll up one vertebra at a time. As slowly as you can, head comes up last. And then when we reach standing, we take the shoulders to the ears. And let's do some shoulder rolls together. So inhale, lift the ears. Exhale, roll behind. Three more. Nice, stand into Dasana, mountain pose at the top of your mat, so feet as wide as your hips. Hands loose and long and heavy down your sides, palms facing in. Nice, feeling length throughout the whole back body, lift the crown of the head. Breathe here. From here, inhale, slightly bend the knees. Inhale, lift the arms wide. Exhale, flood all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, heels out in front. Exhale, fold. Nice, let's do that a few more times. So, press down with the feet. Inhale, arms come wide, all the way above the head. Exhale, bend into the elbows, cactus arms on the way down. And exhale, fold. Nice, inhale, halfway lift, gaze out in front. Exhale, fold, two more times. Inhale, rise, arms come wide. Exhale, flood all the way down. Inhale, halfway lifts. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, rise all the way up. Fingertips as far above your head as you can. Exhale, slide the shoulders down the back as we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, this time place the hands on the mat, step back into plank. Nice, I'll come back a little bit. So, your shoulders are above your wrists, your fingertips are spreading wide, index finger facing forward. And we're pressing the heels away in space. Drawing the belly in and out. Nice, two more breaths here. Then we drop the knees down. The chest comes through, keeping the elbows hugged into the side body and we lower all the way down. Untuck the toes. And then let's take our palms nice and wide away from us. So placing the palms off the mat. Inhale, baby cobra with wide arms, nice. And let's stay here. Let's gaze over the right shoulder. Come back to center. Gaze over the left shoulder, nice. So we're activating our lower back muscles. Drawing the belly in and up. So the hip bones are lifted off the mat. Nice, one more breath here. Exhale, release. Create a pillow for your forehead with both hands. And allow your forehead just to soften into your hands. 
Taking a few breaths to find a little bit of ease between the effort. Inhale, lift the forehead up. And let's do the same bit in Sphinx Pose. So taking the forearms just in front of us, keeping them in line with the shoulders. Pressing down with the forearms, down with the palms, and inhale, we lift. So again, our belly's drawing in and up, our hip bones are kind of lifted as the front of the pubic um, area is pressing down. Pointing the toes, soft engagement with the glutes. And let's gaze down the tip of your nose. Nice, really feeling the sensations in the lower back. One last breath. Exhale, fold. Come back to that position of the forehead on top of your hands. And just relax. Perhaps move the hips side to side gently. Last breath. Just softening down. And then inhale, take your hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes, push back through your child's pose, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Five breaths in your downward dog, perhaps walking your feet out, so pressing one heel towards the mat, bending into the opposite leg. Breathing in and out through the nose. Allowing the head to feel heavy in space. And then we'll meet in stillness for the last breath. Inhaling together, lift the right leg up in space. Flex that foot to draw the right hip forward, left hip back. Plug evenly through both hands. And then exhale, bend the knee. The knee touches the nose as we come through. And we step the foot between the hands. Nice. Coming down with the back knee. And then rising up. Good. Coming onto our fingertips, either side of the right foot. And then we're just going to move forward and back. So as we move back, we straighten the right leg. And we press the heel away. As we come forward, we bend into the right knee. As we come back, we straighten the leg. Nice, if you prefer, just to do it with your hands on your hips, if that feels better. Give that a go as well. All forward fold into it a little bit. You get a bit of a deeper calf hamstring stretch. A few more times with your own breath. And then we come to some stillness with the bent front leg. Taking both hands on the inside of the right foot this time. Nice. Either staying here or option to come down on your forearms. Perhaps taking a book or a block um, underneath your right forearm if that feels um, a little bit more comfortable to you. And wherever we are, we just want to encourage the right knee in towards our body. So really working into this right hip. Option to tuck the back toes and lift the back knee off the mat. And stay wherever you are for three more breaths. Nice. Option for the last breath, just to lift the back foot, grab the foot from the inside, and just open up, gazing over the left shoulder. Exhale, release. Nice. Everyone, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step back into your high plank. 
all together, come forward, drop the knees, chest, chin all the way down, untuck the toes, inhale, this time baby cobra, keep the elbows hugged into the side body, and then exhale, take your hips back through child's pose into your downward facing dog, side breath. Keep remembering to bend the knees, which will alleviate any back pain. Just be a little more gentle on the lower back, especially for your first few downward facing dogs. And continue to walk the dog out if that feels good in your body. Last breath, all together in stillness. Press evenly through both hands as the left leg rises in space. Flex the left foot in space as if you're pressing a door away. Exhale, bend the knee. Knee comes through center, touches the nose, rounding the back, and steps between the hands. We drop the back knee, we untuck the back toes, and we move forward and back. Working into that left hip. On the inhale, coming forward, lifting the heart through. And on the exhale, flexing that foot, feeling the stretch. Last time. And then we walk both hands on the right side of the left foot. And again, we stay here and we encourage the left knee into the side, into the um, midline. Or we come down on the right forearm. Maybe this is enough. Maybe the left forearm joins. And maybe we tuck the back toes and lift the back knee. Wherever we are for five breaths. Finish on the other side, bending the knee, lifting the foot. And let's do it on this side as well. Last breath. Everyone come back onto your palms, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step back into your high plank. This time, option to follow the knees, chest, chin all the way down, or shoulders over the wrist, we come halfway down. Inhale, we untuck the toes, we rise up, knees are lifted if we're doing full chaturanga. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Everyone take knees as wide as your mat, big toes together, child's pose. Forehead kisses your mat. And we rest for the first three breaths. And then in your own time, we meet back and down facing dog. Finishing the last breath together in stillness. And as we exhale, we bend the knees, we gaze between the hands. We step or take a bunny hop to the front of our mat. Halfway lift, gaze out in space. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees to root down and rise all the way up. Exhale, bend the elbows, flood all the way down. Inhale, halfway lifts. Exhale, plug the hands, step back into your high plank. Exhale, lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, back to your downward facing dog. Taking five breaths here. Inhale, third breath. Final breath. Inhale, right leg lifts up in space. 
Next, this time we bend the knee, we take the knee to the nose around the back, we curl in, and then we take the leg back up in space and we do this two more times. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lips. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. This time, exhale, knee to nose. We step the foot through between the hands. Nice, and we come up to a high lunge this time. So then we generously bend the back knee. So the knee is as close to the mat as possible. And we take our hands and interlace behind us. Nice, draw the interlace down. So our shoulders are drawing down the back. And then we drop the back heel down. So the back heel is dropped down a 45 degree angle. And the front knee is tracking over the front ankle. Can you see the first two toes on the inside of your right knee? Next, inhale, lift the heart to prepare. And exhale, we move into this humble warrior by folding forward. Our chest comes down on the inside of the right leg and the interlace lifts in space. And then our head is hanging in space. Pressing back through the outside edge of the back foot. Welcome the wobble in the legs. Focus on your breath. Breathe through the effort. We'll take two more breaths here. And with your next inhale, the interlace lifts you up. So you press down with your feet and come rise up again. Really nice, guys. Inhale, arms parallel. Warrior two, gaze over the right middle finger. Check in with the back arm. Is it as lifted as the front? We breathe here. Welcome the wobble and the burn in the front leg. Just three more breaths and we're going to straighten the front leg. Feel the burn. Next, inhale, straight to the front leg. Really nice, guys. Heel toe the back foot in just a little bit. So you have a slightly shorter stance, um, leg distance apart. So a kind of two thirds of your leg, your whole leg between your front heel and your back heel now. As we inhale, we reach forward as much as we can with both straight legs. And when we can't reach forward anymore, we drop the right hand down on the inside of the right ankle. And then just as we did at the beginning, we lift up, so as if there's an energetic line drawing our left fingertips up from space, and we're kind of twisting the rib cage. You can even take your left hand, take it underneath on your right rib cage, and just encourage it to open really nice. And you can feel the difference in sensation. I've got the sun drawing down on my face, which is nice but kind of blinding. Breathe it. Three more breaths. Again, pressing through the outer edge of the back foot. Last breath. Inhale to rise with straight legs. Nice. This time we're going to face the front of your mat. So you're going to take a big step out with the left foot. So in both hips, you can face forward. I'm just going to reposition. So the back foot is still 45 degrees, but it's out to the side. So left hip forward, right hip back. We take opposite elbows behind us, or reverse prayer. Next, we lift the shoulder heads and draw the shoulders to hang our backs. And then we fold. We're only folding halfway, so we're lifting the shoulder heads high as we fold. We're not rounding in. We're creating space in the front body drawing the sit bones back in space as the crown of the head reaches forward and we gaze down the tip of our nose. So our gaze is kind of um, 10, 20 centimeters in front of our right foot, gazing down on the mat, but have a soft gaze. This gentle dristy, this focus, it's more of an inward gaze. Tuning inwards to the breath. Up 
welcoming the stretch on the whole back of the right leg, working into that hamstring. One last breath here. And then we're gonna release the hands to frame the front foot, bend into the front leg and lift the back foot. So standing split. Flex that back leg in space. And then we're gonna to start to open up to our half moon. So taking the right fingertips out in front or to your book or your block. We're gonna lift the left fingertips off the mat and open up the left side body to the left. Have a little micro bend in the standing leg, but have a strong standing leg. Nice, flexing that left foot in space will give you a bit more stability in the glutes, in the core. Wherever you are, two more breaths. Can that energetic line lift you up through the left fingertips? Exhale, release. Let's move into a forward fold at the top of our mat. Generously bend the knees, torso sits on the thighs, head hangs heavy. And let's take a few breaths here. Halfway left, please out to the horizon. Exhale, fold. Let's go through a little flow. Inhale, press down with the feet, rise high, arms wide. Exhale, flood the hands back down as we forward fold. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, press down, step back through your high plank. Option for your vinyasa. Move through chaturanga of your twists, untuck the toes. And then exhale, down facing dog or child's pose. I'm going to do child's pose. And let's take five breaths here. A few more breaths. I'm just going to turn the other way so you can see a little bit better. Plug into the hand, lift the forehead off the mat. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts up and space. Flex that foot. Exhale, knee to nose, round the back. Inhale, lift the left leg in space. Exhale, round. Inhale, last time. Exhale, round. And then step that foot through between the hands. Nice. Feel strong legs and rise up to your high lunge. Hands on your hips first, bend into that back knee. And then we take the hands to an interlace behind us. Draw the shoulders down the back for openness in the heart space. Then let's drop the back heel down. The back foot's 45 degrees in the mat a whole leg distance apart between both hills. But there's this energetic line between both hills kind of drawing your hills together. Next, front knee tracking over the front ankle. Inhale, prepare, one breath. Exhale, we fold. Allow the interlace to come over the head. Feel the burn in the front leg. Allow the interlace to rise as much as feels okay without straining the shoulders too much. This will allow the head to hang a little bit heavier in space. One more breath. Inhale to lift with the interlace. Allow the interlace to take you up. Really nice. Moving into your warrior two. Is over your front middle finger. And is your left knee now open enough so you can see both 
your big toe and your first little toe inside of your knee. If not, just encourage it out to the side a little bit more. One last breath. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Heel toe the back foot in a little bit again. Bit of a shorter stance. Inhale, reach forward as much as you can. When you can't reach anymore, drop the left hand down. Right arm rises. And again, take your hand to your underneath your left rib and just swivel your chest open. Lifting the right fingertips high. So this is a chest opener first and foremost. Taking two more breaths. Inhale, come all the way up. And then like we've done the other side, take a step out to the side with the right foot this time. Just enough so both hips can face forward. Take opposite elbows behind you or reverse prayer. Lift your shoulder heads, press your hands together if you're in reverse prayer. Lift the crown of the head first. And then we start to fold. Gaze is down, tip your nose as we fold. Till about halfway, draw the belly in and up. Right hip forward, left hip back sensation. Try and draw the left hip back into you. We breathe. Everyone come up a little bit. So sometimes we go a little bit too deep. And if we just rise a little bit up, we actually use the core a little bit more to create length in the back body. Last breath there. Exhale, release the hands, frame the front foot, bend into the front knee, and then we lift the back foot off the mat, standing slip. Allow the head to hang heavy. Strong standing leg. And in your own time, you start to open up the half moon. So using your block or coming up into your fingertips, press down with the left fingers or palm and raise the right arm in space. Crown of the head is still reaching towards the front of your mat. Taking a few more breaths. If you fall out, just slowly come back in. Last breath. Exhale, ease down. Take the right foot to meet the left foot. Nice. Let's move into a little squat pose to rest here. So heel toe your feet out to the side. Drop your pelvis down. Perhaps take pillows or books underneath your heels if that feels a bit more secure. Or just allow your heels to rise. Whatever feels comfortable. We'll all take our hands in prayer at heart centre. Allow the pelvis to feel heavy in space. Close the eyes down if that feels nice. And try and create some ease in this pose. position that comes so easy to us um, in early life and then becomes harder and harder as we progress um, and kind of fall out of love with this position but seek to find more ease more comfort place to settle place to find your breath again tune back to that quality breath Slowly blinking the eyes open. Let's find our way back to our downward facing dog. Nice. Everyone walk your dog out. Plug into the mat with both hands. Good. 
and generously bend the knees, gaze between the hands, step or jump to the front of your mat, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, bring down with the feet to rise high with the arms, and then exhale, we'll meet into Dasana, top of our mats. Nice. So let's try a nice dancer's pose to open the chest, have a little back bend. Um, so, everyone near the top of your mat, <coughs> I'll show you this side. Put your weight into your left foot, come onto the ball of the right foot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our ankle on the inside. So fingertips are kind of coming to the outside of your foot. So grab the top of your foot. Here, good. And what we want to do is we want to bend the standing leg, so bend this knee, bend the left knee. And then what we're going to do is instead of reaching forward first, we're just going to kick back with the foot in space. As we kick back, we naturally bow forward and then reach our fingertips out in front. So our foot, our right leg is kicking back in space, but keeping aligned with the right shoulder. So it's not sort of like out here in space because we won't have any stability there. But we're going to kick back in line with the shoulder. And as we kick, we reach forward. Nice. Gaze down the tip of your nose. And breathe. Two more breaths. And then slowly draw the knee back into the chest. And let's hug it in. Hug it in at the front. Do the interlace over the knee, over the shin. Hex our wrist. Shake that. Shake up the legs, shake up the arms. And then let's move to the opposite side. So weight into your right foot, come onto the ball of your left foot. Then take, I'll do it this side. Take your left hand on the inside, grabbing the top of your foot so your fingertips are coming out to the left. Bend into the standing leg and then kick back with the left leg slowly. And then we draw forward with the heart to the right fingertips. Nice. Feeling buoyancy in the pose. Feeling freedom in the front body, in the lower back. And feeling stability in the right foot and the right standing leg. The strong leg giving us support. Taking a few more breaths. Keeping the foot up in space one last time. Slowly drawing that left knee in towards you, hugging it in with your interlace. And then shaking it off. Nice. I think it's about time we went to seated. So come settle. And let's move into a wide legged position. Flex the feet, point the toes. Flex the feet, point the toes. And then settle in the flex. Next. First, let's do a little bit of a back bend. So spider fingers behind us. Walk your spider fingers back. And then just lift your chest, gaze up to the ceiling. Feel space rooting from the pelvis up through the front body, through the chest, openness in the chest. Maybe closing your eyes down feels nice. Inhale, blink your eyes open, walk your fingertips over your legs and this time walk your fingertips out in front. And come to a place that feels nice, rounding the back, tucking the chin to the chest. Maybe just here feels good, or maybe coming down to your forearms. Allowing the head to hang really heavy in space wherever we are. 
let's try and soften the feet a little bit. So allow the feet just to go between pointed and flexed. Finding a sense of ease in this forward fold. Few breaths. Just with the eyes soft, either eyes drawn closed or a soft gaze down the tip of your nose. Your breath to the quiet and down, softened. Become a little more steady in this pose. And just listen, tune into that. Inhale to lift the head. Walk the fingertips back towards you. And we'll keep the right leg straight, but draw the left sole of the foot in um, on the inside of the right thigh. Nice. So what we're going to do from here is take your fingertips out wide and your spider fingers again. And then press down with the left palm behind you. Lift the right arm up in space, bending into that left elbow. Stretch on the whole right side body. And then we come forward and take our hand towards our foot, so either stopping kind of on our calf or grabbing the outside of the foot, reaching the left arm over in space, and then tilting, so swiveling the chest open again, feeling the stretch on the whole left side body. So we're not folding so far forward, we're kind of lifting ourselves up, drawing the belly in and up, and really feeling into that side twist. Staying here for a few breaths. Inhale, come all the way up. Back one last time. And then come forward. And we go through a little bit more of a flow this time. Option to stay just moving the upper body. Or option on your next time we come back. We plug into the left hand, we lift the hips off the mat and we point the toe, lifting the right arm over the head. And whatever we are, whatever flow we decide is right for us right now, take your eyes closed and just move with the sensations. Find what feels good with no vision, just feeling, just sensations. Moving through the body. Go through one more, wherever you are. And then we release. Taking the left leg up long, taking the right sole of the foot to the inside of the left thigh. Taking the hands and spider fingers wide, plugging down with the right hand, lifting up with the left arm. Exhale, release. Right arm comes skywards. And we pause here. Breathing into the side twist. Feeling it really sort of in the lower side, next to the lower back. Inhale to rise, exhale. Inhale comes forward, and then if we started planting the palm down and lifting the hips on the other side, let's do the same on this side. And again, just breathe and flow. It doesn't matter what it looks like, maybe yours looks really different to mine. Drawing the belly in and up to the spine as we rise the hips up. Two more. When you're ready, taking the legs out on in front, shaking the legs off. Taking the feet to where the knees were. Nice. Taking the hands underneath the thighs, drawing the shoulders down the back. And then we lift the feet off the mat in space. Good. Gaze down the tip of your nose in front. Option to keep the hands underneath the thighs for support or lift the hands in space, moving to your Navasana or boat pose. 
And let's just do a little bit of core before we move down to our back. So as we exhale, we straighten the legs and we come back halfway. Inhale to rise. Five more of these. Exhale, legs long in space, halfway down. Inhale to rise. Four more. Two more. Draw the shoulders down the back. Release all of the facial muscles. So relax the face. Next. Last one. This time we slowly go all the way down to the mat. How slow can we go? With straight legs. All the way down. And then soften as we arrive on the mat. Into this mini Shavasana. Let go of any force, any effort. And ease into this melting down position. From here, taking the soles of the feet to where the knees were. The knees are pointing up to the ceiling. We're going to plug down with our feet. So press down with the big toe, the little toe, both sides of the hill. As we plug down, we lift the lower back off the mat. Lift the middle back, peeling each vertebrae off the back until we can just about squeeze our shoulders more underneath us. So squeeze our shoulders underneath, which will allow the back of the arms to give us support. And then the hands touch and reach into an interlace. And this interlace and back of the arms is going to support us in this bridge pose. Nice. Imagine you're squeezing a block between your thighs. I will activate the glutes a little bit more. Draw the belly into the spine. Feel the sensations of the lower back muscles working. And let's take three more breaths here. And then slowly release the interlace. Allow the arms to kind of part again, allowing the upper back to melt down, followed by the middle back. Releasing each vertebrae at a time down until we press the lower back into the mat. Next, allow the knees to knock into center and touch. And close your eyes down. draw the knees in towards you, give yourself a big squeeze, moving left to right on the lower back. Massaging out the kidneys. Coming back to center, and let's finish with a happy baby. So take the hands between your thighs on the inside, grabbing the outside of your feet, pressing the lower back into the mat, encouraging the soles of the feet skywards, and then just playing around what feels good from side to side, really pressing the lower back into the mat. Option for your eyes to stay open, but have the soft gaze, the softness in the eyelids, or close the eyes down. One more breath, just rocking side to side. And then let's release the legs down and long on the mat into your Shavasana. So feet can be wider than hip distance apart now. The arms come long by the sides, palms facing up. And let's close our eyes down. Allow this natural rhythm of your breath to return. If any thoughts drift into your mind, allow them to come. But just let them go as easy as they arrived. And settle into the ease of Shavasana. Trusting that you're being supported by the earth, the mat, the space around you. And just let everything go.
And we'll sit here in silence just for a minute. to take a few deeper breaths. Really feeling the belly rise and fall. Moving your fingertips, moving your toes. Taking some bigger rolls with your wrists. One way. And the whole of your ankle. And then the other. Take one full body stretch to really wake up the body. Take the hands above your head, press them in the interlace, and press the interlace away, point your toes. Take one of your deepest breaths of the day. Let it go through the mouth. Then when you're ready, roll onto your right side, keeping your eyes drawn closed. Tuck your knees into your chest and just create a pillow for your right ear with both hands. Taking a moment to reconnect with the whole body, the physical body, the movement of the body. And then press ourselves up with our left hand. Come to a comfortable seat. And let's take the backs of our hands onto our knees. Welcoming the palms, the whole body up to new energies for the day. Just taking a breath or two to arrive back in the physical world, arriving back to all the stimulus around us. Thinking our eyes open. Taking our hands to heart center in prayer and bowing forward, thanking each and every one of you for joining practice today. Namaste.